here fashion girls everywhere. I don't care where I'm going. Y'all probably gonna be looking at this Christmas tree to the end of January. Uh, yes, I'm one of those. Welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas. It is officially Christmas, it's Monday. I know by the time y'all see this, it's going to be Thursday. It is Christmas time. My family is all here. We decided to have it in my apartment. Uh, we had it in my apartment last year up in Chicago. So we just figured, you know, continue the tradition, especially now that like I live in a bigger apartment. It's a lot more comfy and a lot more room for everybody to maneuver around with me being here in Atlanta than it was last time in Chicago. Um, so yeah, very grateful for that. Let's just start with that. But yeah, we've been chilling so far today. The morning has went by. We had like our like our big Christmas breakfast. As you can see, you know, you gotta have the grits. You gotta have the cheese grits. If you eat sugar in your grits, keep that to yourself. It's been a pretty good day. That's like honestly my favorite thing about Christmas. Personally, like me and my family, ours is like very food focused we're very big on like eating our christmas tradition is usually actually going to the movies on christmas so we are going to be going to the movies later today after we finish making dinner and stuff yes we eat dinner super early um but we're going to be going to see the color purple which apparently is a musical like my mama didn't ask nobody she just went about all these tickets for us to go see the color purple so i guess we're gonna go see the color purple she also bought us all these little matching christmas pajamas well they're not christmas pajamas per se but she got them like this so we could wear them even when it's not Christmas. So yeah, we all have different colors. I have like this wine Merlot color. My sister has like the brown one. My mom has the black. Of course, my dad doesn't have the same set as us. So he's just the odd one out. But it's okay. He don't want to wear it. He don't want to wear it. Saying. So all we have left to do now for Christmas festivities, I've got to help finish cooking. Yes, you guys, I'm helping today. Okay. Like I know for Thanksgiving, I ain't do jack. I ain't do jack. But in my defense... There were like four grandmas helping with Thanksgiving already. They did not want me in the kitchen, okay? Since it's just my mom, I am going to be cooking. We're doing a little bit of an untraditional meal today. Today is actually going to be a lot of Mexican food. My mom makes this Mexican soup, which is super, super good. Um, I signed up to try a hand at carne asada. So I'm going to be making that. We're going to see how that goes. I can't remember what else we're going to make, but... I'm actually going to stop talking now because she's probably in that kitchen. Actually, she's probably not wondering because this is kind of my thing. But anyways, I'm getting ready to head in there so we can finish Christmas dinner, go ahead and eat, and then we're going to go to the movies. Let me see your pajamas. This was the curator of our pajama get up for the day. She's got the classic black on. Let's see if we know how if she know how to season. Me or the people? I'm talking to you. 
Yeah, you just told me it's carne asada. Maybe thought I was making food. <laughs> Maybe thought I was making something else. Why do you just better put it back in there? Y'all look pegado right there. That's pegado. You want the pegado, okay? <laughs> She's making her soup, you guys. Y'all, I love this soup. She don't ever make me this soup. I think the last time she made me this probably like five years ago. I feel like you need a bigger bowl. Mm. Or maybe you put too much rice. That girl wanted some rice. And now what do you add? I'm learning how to make it, y'all. For future references. Do you normally separate it like this? Yeah. I could have sworn you just would keep it in one pot. Mm -mm. Why would you want your... I just feel like I would just scoop. I don't remember putting it all together myself whenever you made this. Unless you were. I probably made it for you. And that's Mexican chicken. Wait, mix it. Oh, you want it mixed? Y'all, I promise y'all, this is like the best tasting soup. Literally my favorite soup in the world. You want to do a taste test? She gonna pretend to like it, y'all, regardless. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about my dad watching TV in the background like he's an animal. Is that a real head nod? It's a real head nod. It's slapped. It's slapped. I'll be the judge of that. Daddy, it's time to eat. And don't nobody come for me with that fried chicken. Cause I don't fry chicken. Yeah, I'm a black woman that don't fry chicken. I ain't trying to kill my family. Please. Was that shade, ma'am? Was that shade? Hey, daddy. I took the glasses off. Why you act like you gotta kiss me every time I put you in the vlog? That's my baby. Honestly, y'all, he act like he he got to do that if he's one centimeter in front of me. I love this girl. I love you too. Jordan, this is so good. I wish I could tell. Wish I could tell y'all that was Cap. But literally, him every ten seconds. <laughs> is it really that good? Oh my God! Yes, yeah, it's really good. 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 Here, let me shut this door, y'all. My bad. It's super loud. <laughs> we were cooking, so it got super hot. I'm tired. Time to eat. Time to Look at it. Not you being the first in line, please. You call me. I was sitting down chilling. Let's see what Jordan's um. What is it? Tacos de asada. Carne asada. Take tacos day If it's nasty, just pretend it's good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello, my loves. It is Wednesday. It's a couple days after Christmas. I low-key was supposed to work yesterday because, you know, when you're a creator, your job is really never over. I'm actually listening to this podcast now, and it was talking about, like, really, this isn't even just creators, like, entrepreneurs, period. Or uh, she was also mentioning people who have a 9 to 5 but have, like, side things, like, future dreams that they're working on. Really, the work is never done. Like, you could always be doing something. Like, somebody asked me one time, like, oh, like, are you finished with everything for my work? And I was like... I mean, I'm, I'm at a stopping point for the day. Like, I I wouldn't say I'm finished. I mean, I could go on forever, you know? Like, I can confidently tell you there's always something to do, um, like, in this job. And that goes for anything, like, when you kind of have, like, your own business or whatever. Um, But yesterday, I was like, um, no. Like, Christmas was Monday. 
And so yesterday was the day after Christmas. I was like, I can't do it. I can't bring myself to put on makeup, um, put on clothes, record outfits. I just cannot do it. So I gave myself a little bit of grace yesterday and I was like, yeah, baby, we about to sit on this couch. We're about to read my book for hours. Like I got so much further in my book because I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm reading the third book to um, A Court of Thorns and Roses, if that's the name of it, I don't know. The first book doesn't matter to me, okay? The second book and up is what matters to me. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I was like, I'll just come back on Wednesday and you know, go from there. Cause I do want to come back and see you guys. I have lots to talk about. We got lots to catch up on. Um, not even so much in this vlog, but just like the upcoming weeks. So I was like, yeah, I want to get back to it. I just needed that little breather yesterday. And I've also figured that I'll give myself another breather on New Year's Day. So I'll, I'll work on the weekends like that for real. I'll vlog. Um, it is technically work, but I don't really count it as like boring work. Like I don't really mind it, you know? Or like, I wouldn't say it's not tiring, but it's just not as exhausting at some points of the job. Like looking at contracts and briefs, now that's, that's exhausting. Grateful that I even am in a position to look at contracts and briefs, but that don't be exhausting. Them things be like, sometimes like 20 pages. But yeah, I was like, okay, um, I'll give myself another day off on actual New Year's Day, and then I'll work my regular weekdays. Because I feel like a lot of people right now, um, they may get a few days off. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a few days off too. Really, like two? Well, if you count Christmas. So really, I'm getting a three days. Three days off. Which is fine with me. I mean, I feel like in previous years, I didn't even do that. So we are moving on up. Um, but speaking of the new year coming up, we have not done like a chit chat in a long time. And I'm not even really sure why that is. Like I used to always stay on here like ranting with you guys. And it's just been a while since I've done that. Hold on, my hands are a little dirty. It is a um, tinted sunscreen day. I discovered that I just like to wear tinted sunscreen on days where I'm not actually like leaving the house, leaving the house because I don't wanna waste my foundation and also foundation just feels so cakey. But Neutrogena had sent this to me a while back. Um, their little tinted moisturizer, which I do like it. Like, it's not flaky or anything. I don't know if this is my perfect color. That's the only thing, because they sent me two shades, and the next shade up is too dark for me right now. So I'm going to have to use it for summer. But um, my shade right now is medium deep, which, I mean, it does okay. Especially after I add, like, the blush and contour or bronzer. I feel like it goes a lot better. But your girl ordered some stuff from um, Sephora. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but anyways, we got off track. The new year is coming in. I know everybody is planning their goals and whatnot. Uh, I told you guys in the last vlog, I didn't tell you to the end. Okay, um, so that's my bad. I should have said something at the beginning that in the new year, I'm planning to do like a QA. and a um, This is the second time that I'm doing a QA. and a I don't know what it is with me in the new year. Uh, two years ago, I wanted to do a QA and a to get some stuff off my chest. Um, and so this year I figured we could do another one. So just, this is my way of telling you, if you have a question, if you've had a question, if I didn't get to the question, you curious about anything, it could be anything. Uh, you can put it down in the box below, but yeah, we're going to go into the new year, uh, with a clean slate and yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm really mad because now I have to pee. Hold on a second. <laughs> This year, I'm kind of more determined to like not make things that I want to accomplish like a new year thing. I just feel like you don't need a new year <laughs> to start new things. Like we get a new week every week, like just starting a new week, you know? But I do want to talk about that a little bit. But yeah, I have been trying to drink more water. And let me tell you, if you are not always on the verge of about to pee on yourself, you probably are dehydrated. Because let me tell you, being hydrated means you always have to pee. Like, it's really annoying, actually. Like, how is this even possible? One thing I'm super glad about, though, is that I live in Atlanta now, so bathrooms are just a lot more accessible. Like, when I was in Chicago, oh, if I had to pee, it was just over for me. Like, there's just really nowhere to pee for real unless you're, like, at, like, a shopping center or something like that. But if you're just out and about, like, 
girl good luck like you are going to be on yourself there have been times where i nearly wet myself in chicago because i couldn't find a bathroom because they're not like down here you can't walk into a mcdonald's and use the bathroom like they got like they got a bathroom locked up and everything like <laughs> it is not it's not you if you live in a major city like that where they're stingy with bathrooms i feel for you i get why you're dehydrated but if you don't i'm talking to you like i would talk to myself drink some water ho because let me tell you my face was giving dry she was giving dry and crusty and i actually have combination skin like it's mostly oily to be honest so that was just that was just no excuse for real for real so i was like yeah we gotta do something about this so i was like yeah i'm not drinking enough water i even gave in and bought a stanley cup y'all a stanley cup i swore i was never gonna be a stanley girl i just swore but i kind of see how like it helps with hydration like Something about drinking out that straw and then it also being huge. If you get a Stanley and you're like, I'm gonna drink two of these today, it's just a lot more motivational than being like, I'm gonna drink six glasses of water or whatever. Like, I'm not gonna do that. Like, that's a lie. So I just gave in and went ahead and got a Stanley cup. Um, but speaking of my new year resolutions, I actually don't have any. <laughs> and hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Cause I know you probably like, girl, you need to get some resolutions because that sounds mad lazy. Hear me out. I am over resolutions, okay? I've been doing my research, and by research, I mean just listening to podcasts that I like to listen to. I wouldn't say I've been on nobody's Google researching this. Um, and to be honest, it's funny because I've actually been doing this, uh, like, I would say the last year and maybe the year before, but I didn't realize that I was doing this. But, yeah, resolutions are for the birds. Apparently, there's, like, a... A survey or something out where Americans don't complete any resolutions most past one week of the first week of January and then past that most of them don't go past January <laughs> so last year something that I did I didn't even come up with a resolution I don't think because I don't know I've just never been big on resolutions but what I was big on was goals and I didn't realize it's actually a better a better thing to do to set goals for yourself for the new year rather than resolutions because resolutions are like very like stick to this and accomplish this by the end of the year or something like that and you're like doing it weekly or something like that i feel like that's like a resolution but goals is like i gotta do this sometime next year i don't know when it's happening like working out that's not really a goal but maybe like saying like oh i want to gain 10 pounds or maybe somebody wants to lose 10 pounds now that's a goal but going to the gym every day that's more of a resolution, I feel like. So, I feel like you kind of really got to paint it in a way where it just makes sense to you and it sounds more attainable. Because telling yourself, oh, I need to go to the gym five times a week, that sounds hella unattainable. <laughs> I've done it, so I'm not going to say it's unattainable, but like it just sounds depressing saying that. But if you say, like, oh, I want to gain 10 pounds next year, that just sounds so much like... <sighs> but let me tell y'all another way that I actually came across on TikTok. It was this girl, and I would tell y'all who she was, but it was just like a random TikTok that came across my my uh, For You page. But it was this girl saying that she went to some event with a whole bunch of like rich people, like millionaires in the room. Like she said she was the only thousandaire up in that room. And so I guess they were giving her like a lot of uh, tea or whatever. And you, I'm sure you've heard by now, like if you want to be successful, like surround yourself with successful people, surround yourself with people who make like way more money than you and stuff like that. And, and it sounds like this is the situation she found herself in. So she was talking about how they were basically telling her like, oh, for the new year, like this is what you need to do. You want to accomplish your goals, this is what you need to do. They were talking about how instead of setting like goals for a whole year, apparently people who are, um, we'll just call them rich <laughs> or more well off, apparently they don't look at the whole year and say like, oh, 2024, we're gonna get this like i'm gonna make this much money and we're gonna accomplish this da, 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 da. they look at 2024 cut into 90 day intervals so i believe that's like what like four quarters yeah so they look at it uh quarterly so instead of being like uh oh my goal for next year is to make um six figures or something like that instead they would divide that up by four so instead they would say like oh my goal for the first 90 days aka their year 
is to make $25,000. So they'll be like, oh, these 90 days, first three months, I've got to make $25,000. Because the big picture is they want to make six figures. Now, obviously, rich people, their bar, I'm sure, is way higher than that. But I don't feel like doing that kind of math. So we're sticking to six figures. Um, but you get my point. And I, I feel like that just made like a lot of sense. And so that's something that I'm definitely going to be doing. Um, I especially need to do it with posting on TikTok. So I think I'm going to kind of set mine up to there's going to be an amount of TikToks that I want to post and I'm going to break it down into 90 days instead of saying like for the whole year. Because I just feel like it's going to make it a lot more digestible that way. Because let's be real, you're not sticking to it for the whole year. I mean, and you might if you break it down like this, but it just sounds heavy when you make it a whole year. So I just thought that was like a really good tip. Um, another thing that I want to discuss for my girlies who have a hard time <laughs> getting up in the morning because i am one of those people it is especially hard when you work for yourself like i feel like when i used to work for a boss it was a lot easier to get up in the morning i used to wake up at 6 a.m y'all 6 a.m religiously like oh my gosh i can't even fathom doing that now but it's much harder now because really nobody's making you get up like nobody's like you gotta be at work at this time so it's it's difficult okay um so let me just say before i get into this if you have a 9 to 5, I feel like people bag on 9 to 5s a lot. No, there are a lot of positives <laughs> with 9 to 5s. And that is definitely one of them for sure. Because um, being accountable for yourself is for the birds. I'm going to tell you right now. Especially if you got ADHD. It's not funny. So I actually came across this pin on Pinterest. Because you know, I'm a Pinterest girl. I just be scrolling through Pinterest. And some of my Pinterest stuff is like motivational help life stuff. And so this particular video was about waking up early in the morning. If I can remember correctly, pretty much like she was setting up to where, you know how some people are like, oh, I want to start waking up at 6 a.m. every single day. And they just try to start doing it out the gate, but they've been waking up at 9 a.m. She was like, no, what you're going to do if you're waking up at 9 a.m. for a week, you're going to wake up at 8.30. Like do it by 30 minutes each time. And if you do 8.30 for a whole week, get yourself a little treat. Go to like a little coffee shop or something and get yourself a little cake and a little coffee. You know, whatever a little treat is to you. You know, it could be a Summer Fridays lip balm. I don't care. <laughs> um, that sounds little to me because honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I do coffee weekly anyway, so like, that's not a treat to me. But that was her example. Um, and let's say the next week. So now you're waking up at 8.30 for a week. Next week, you're like, oh, I did that for a week. I'm good now. I'm used to it. My body is acclimated. You're going to wake up at 8 a.m. now. You're cutting back another 30 minutes. So you do that for a week again, and then you get yourself another little treat. I recommend like maybe something $25 below, but maybe it's something like you wouldn't normally be like, oh, I'm just going to spend the money on this $25 thing, you know? Maybe it's something that's kind of low-key wasteful, but like this is your treat. And so I think when you get to your uh, actual goal, like let's say it was at 6 a.m. and you worked your way back, Maybe you do that for a month, and if you do that for a month, you get yourself a really nice pair of shoes that you wanted. Because at this point, you've been waking up at 6 a.m. for a month. Like, you set that in. You did that. So, you know, you kind of got to give yourself little rewards, but also you kind of got to be easy on yourself. You can't just be like, I'm going to start waking up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Baby, you woke up at 9 for like 8 months straight. Like, how are you going to you gonna do that? Baby, you're going to hit snooze, because I know I would hit snooze. <laughs> So that's actually something I practiced this morning um, because I have a habit of waking up at 8 39 but this morning I actually managed to wake up at 8 because I typically wake up at like 8 30. The 9 is me lingering in my bed um, but another thing I did I actually use a hatch which has been, been really helpful for me. I'm not gonna lie though the hatch is low-key like it's, it's, a little, it's a little expensive. Mine was gifted to me. Um, but it is really helpful it mine wakes me up with like birds in the morning it sounds like delightful it sounds like birds are just outside my window like jordan let's get up and you know i like that but even that is not quite enough for me so what i do is i don't put my phone next to the bed because i have my hatch and so what i'll do is i'll like plug my phone up against the window which is not by my bed like i have to get up to go turn it off and so I will set a timer, literally this morning, I set a timer for one minute after the birds went off. Because I knew, I've done it before where I'm like, oh, I'll set myself a warning for 15 minutes. No, you get too comfortable. So I let the birds wake me up at 8, and then my alarm is basically going to be looking at me like, okay, 8.01, you better come and turn off this alarm. And at that point, I'm getting up. And also, <laughs> maybe this will help too, I don't know. 
with me hydrating so much, another thing that has made me stay up is by the time I get up, I have to pee again. So as soon as I turn off my alarm, I'm running to the bathroom. And once you hit the bathroom and turn the big light on, girl, you're up. <laughs> so I feel like that helped me a lot. I was able to go to the gym this morning. Um, I was able to eat a snack, a protein shake, make my breakfast, eat breakfast, read a book. Like, it's, it's been working. So now I'm doing my makeup and getting ready to shoot um, a new end haul for you guys. But yeah, I just thought I would share that. I'm not going to do some whole video on the new year. Even when I do my new year video, it's kind of like a get ready with me type thing. And then we're going to go into the rest of the week like normal vlogs. But I cannot wait for y'all to see my dress, baby. She is cute. I actually just got my shoes in today. I'm not going to show y'all my dress until actual New Year's Eve when I get ready to go out. Um, while I'm doing that Q&A that you guys are do um, asking the questions for. But I'm going to show y'all the shoes today because I just got them in and I'm excited. So I'm going to finish doing my makeup because I'm the world's worst multitasker. But one thing I must add, wow, wow, I have to talk while doing my makeup more often because I just blended the mess out of this, this under eye. Normally I'm impatient and it'd be giving crease because like I've blotted like five times. But just now we're trying to multitask, I did it like 50 times and it's kind of flawless. I'm impressed. All right, makeup is done. It's a very, very light beat. Nothing crazy. Let's see. Oh, let me show y'all my um my new bar stools. This is probably not the best condition to show y'all in, but because there's like a lot of stuff over here right now, so I'm about to do this haul. But I still need to show you. So while my family was here, my dad was here. He actually took it upon himself to build these bar stools for me. Hold on, let me lift the camera up some more. It's a little lower than I thought. So, funny enough, these are actually bar stools that my parents had at their house for, it's been years now. Ever since they moved into the new house that they built, that's pretty much how long they've had these bar stools. And I made a joke and I was like, it sounds like y'all got these bar stools for me because these don't match y'all's house at all. Like, because they look great in my apartment. It's crazy. So yeah, pretty much it's like this leather stool. It's got the wood um, back, the little silver metal part, which I love. You guys know, this, this is right up my alley. The mix of the wood and the mix of the silver is just giving like that modern warm look that I like. Oh y'all got mess everywhere. But there's actually like three different sets of them, as you can see. One, two, three, which fits perfectly at my bar but so cute like i am absolutely obsessed with these and they also do a little bit of swiveling too so yeah i've kind of just been doing my work right here and stuff like that um it actually came with two per box so they actually have four but i only needed three i really only thought i was gonna need two but it's lucky that they did have four i feel like three looks really good but yeah shout out to my daddy he was literally here for christmas building my bar stools like i mean i didn't even ask like he just got straight to business and was building them he is the best but yeah i'm obsessed because for the longest i had these white chairs you guys know my little white chairs um i had one of these just here for whenever i wanted to get some work done um but now they're really cute in the living rooms so i have both of them sitting in the living room right now i do need to clean them up because they are vintage uh these are not vintage but i really don't know where they bought these and I'm not going to lie, they probably don't know either. Yeah, my white chairs, they are a vintage find that I looked up on at like a curated antique store a couple years back. So I'm definitely going to have to give them a nice little wipe down before I show y'all the living room. But we still got a little bit more to go on the living room. It's mostly just like the shelf decoration thing. That's really all I have to do. And I need to take down the Christmas stuff because low key... I haven't even really lived with my new shelf without Christmas stuff on it because as soon as I got it built, it was like time to put a Christmas decor. So I'm excited to take everything down and um, see what kind of decor and books and stuff that I want up there. But yeah, just wanted to show y'all the bar stools really quickly. And also, yes, of course, my Christmas tree is still up. I mean, Christmas just left, but I'm not going to lie to you, okay? Y'all probably going to be looking at this Christmas tree to the end of January. Uh, yes. I'm one of those. I am one of those. I mean, you're lucky you don't see it till Valentine's Day, honestly, because I'm also one of those. But yeah, I decided um, yesterday that I'm probably going to just take it down at the end of January. I'm going to take down the rest of the Christmas decor, but 
you know, you need a little something. You need a little, little light, little festive spirit to get through January. I feel like once you get through January, you're good. Kind of. Like, January and February, y'all know that's... Those are some sketchy ages. But yeah, I'm leaving the Christmas tree up for my... Purely for my enjoyment, okay? So if y'all see it in the background for the next month, don't act like I didn't tell you, because I did. With these stools being here, I low-key have a whole new little section to sit and show you guys clothes. Hold on, let me, let me tie my robe up. This feels a little provocative. Let me have some decorum real quick. I'm at work. Like, tying it up is gonna make a huge difference. It did a little something. Gave a little, a little more coverage. Or not really coverage, more like just more put together. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I've got lots and lots of things. Things I bought in person. A couple of brand things. Um, more in person. And then also some investment pieces. I told you guys before, or maybe during Black Friday era, that I was getting some investment pieces. First, we're going to start with the things that I actually bought in person. Uh, I am not used to shopping in person and enjoying the options. Like, I'm surprised, y'all. Me and my mom and my dad, it was mostly me and my mom. My dad was sitting down every chance he got, hiding in his truck every chance he got. But me and my mom, we was out there. We was out in the streets um, doing lots and lots of shopping, and we were very impressed. And that is saying something. Let me tell you, that is saying something coming from us because I feel like we are very picky, especially her. And yeah, we came across a lot of things shopping in person while at Ponce City Market or Ponce, whatever you want to call it, but everybody calls it Ponce. Like when I tell you I had to actually like control myself, normally when I go out shopping in person, I don't come across things that I have to say no to, you know, because there's just not that many things I like. So I just get the things that I like and I leave. But for some reason at Ponce, a couple days ago, I was actually shopping and I was like, uh-uh, Jordan, like, you already did too much. Like, <laughs> it's time to, it's time to put it down. Um, so yeah, I will be back. I've learned that Ponce is probably my spot when it comes to in-person shopping. They have a Madewell. They've got that one, um, the Souk Bohemian place that I told you guys I'm obsessed with that unfortunately I went back again and I was a victim. Um, Souk Bohemian, they have Reformation, which I got some Reformation stuff here today, but it's ordered from online. Um, just everything. Oh, they have Anthropology, which they were actually going to be closing in five minutes, so we just didn't even bother going in. But I'm sure, probably would have gotten in trouble there too, because I love Anthropology. So yeah, I've learned that Pont City Market is a very dangerous place for me. Like, forget Linux. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know. Like, I've been to Ponce millions of times. But first, I'll start with a little top that I got from Mayville. They were having a really nice sale. And I'm going to be trying all this stuff on, but I'm just going to insert, like, a video because I don't know why I did that dumb thing before where I tried things on and then put it on again and talk to you. Like, y'all don't want to hear all that. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it on and then put it over the screen. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Um, now, if you prefer me to put it on and talk about it, after I sit down and talk about it, you let me know. But I'm thinking that this is better. I went and made well, and they were actually having a sale, but I didn't know if they were having a sale like on everything. But I saw this two-piece little pinstripe set that they had in the back. And unfortunately, the skirt did not fit. I actually picked up the set for the skirt, and the skirt was a size 2. I'm I'm usually a size 2, but that was not a true size 2. Um, so it didn't fit, but I had tried on the pinstripe little vest, and she was so, so cute. And it actually turned out to be like, I want to say like 50% off. So the sale was crazy. But it's actually a really, really nice quality pinstripe vest. Like, I feel like I can wear this. You guys know I love me a pair of light baggy jeans. It also will look really cute with like a little pleated skirt. Something like that. Like very preppy look. It can go either way. But she is really, really cute. I'm excited. Like, I was just shocked at the quality. I mean, I guess I shouldn't have been shocked because it's literally from Made Well. Like, it's in the name, Made Well. But, I don't know. I feel like I just remember Made Well not really being my vibe like a couple years ago. And like I said, my style has kind of like elevated a little bit as far as like maturity. So that might be why. But, yeah. That's crazy. So the vest was originally $118. Do y'all know how much I paid for this vest when I walked in that store? I didn't even expect for it to be this little until I got to the register and they were like, this is $26. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, don't mind if I do, but what? Yeah. So, 
Maywell, y'all will see me again. They had a couple things in there that I really wanted, but I really met my quota when I unexpectedly went in a <laughs> souk. Is, am I saying that right? I actually don't know. I'm sorry if I'm messing that up. But a uh, souk bohemian. Mm. Y'all, the piece that's in here, I wonder if you can guess what I got. If you saw that vlog, I already talked about this piece. And guess what I did? I went right in there. I went right in there and got it. I, I knew, I knew if I walked back in that store, I was going to get this piece. And that's exactly what I did. And to be honest, I'm not even mad at myself. Because this is something that's been on my list, okay? So, that's just how I make myself feel better. <laughs> Yo, here she is. Here she is. You'll see the full length of it when I actually put it on. But yes, I did go right back up in there and pick up this long, like, little pea coat, trench coat vibe looking thing waistcoat whatever all the coats it's just long okay um i'm obsessed with the color and i really needed a jacket like this because last year i got rid of like all my jackets from mango that had like this same type of shape but they were just short like i'm not into the short jacket vibe if my jacket is going before my knees and it's got this shape i don't want it i do not want it i want it down to my ankles it has to be dramatic i don't care that i live in atlanta georgia um, but another thing about this jacket is even though it looks like it could be really heavy, it's not like light as in cheap, but it's not super heavy like wooly because it's just not cold enough here to be wearing something like that. So I was like, yeah, this jacket is absolutely perfect. The coloring on it is just so, so nice. But I think my favorite thing about it is it actually has this little accent in the middle, which hopefully you guys will be able to see it when I put it on, but it's got like a cinch waist a little bit. It's not too cinched, which I like because it would not be casual enough to like wear like on a regular day if it was too cinched. But it's like just cinched enough to make it like a little more dressy when I do want to wear a dressier outfit. Like I could actually wear this as like the coat look. Did you guys see like Kourtney Kardashian's Christmas, um, her Christmas outfit? Because she was saying like she can't get no clothes because she just had a baby. Which people have done it before Kourtney. This is just the most recent person that I can come to mind. But yeah, just wearing a jacket as a dress like how she did. Uh, throwing on like some tights, like some sheer black tights, and then like some heels on top. So cute. Don't know where I'm going, but so cute. But more than likely, this jacket is just going to end up at Trader Joe's, but we don't care, okay? We are fashion girls everywhere. I don't care where I'm going, but yeah, she's gorgeous. I would say the only downside about this coat is it does not have pockets. Like it has a spot that looks like pockets, so it doesn't look like you know, I feel like it looked weird if it didn't have the look of pockets, but there are no pockets. And that's disappointing, but I'm going to just have to wear jeans or some type of pant with pockets when I wear this jacket. Okay, let's get into some shoes really quickly and then I'll get into the rest of the clothes that I bought. So starting with these, I just have to show you guys these because these are absolutely perfect. I've actually already worn them once, but I feel like that's better because then I got a chance to actually see what they feel like. Um, but these black boots, oh my gosh, like how can you go through the fall and how can you go through the winter without a pair of solid black boots? Now, I do have numerous pairs of black boots, numerous, but I didn't have any exactly that looked like this. And I feel like if you are a black shoe girly, you got to have every type of black boot there is. And so I needed like a point toe one. Like I had all the square toe ones, vintage, slightly pointed, like all of that. Um, but I needed one of these. Uh, these are just like the hot girl boots. Like they look so good with like a mini skirt. They even look good with like classier dresses, but like to not make it look so stuffy. I like to pair them with boots like these, but I really enjoy these because they're not authentic leather, but they really have that look and they really have that feel as well. If I do get things that are faux leather, I like them to look nice. And so, yeah, I had to have these. Also, um, I can't remember how long, many inches this was. I'll show you the heel itself so you can kind of see. I want to say like three to four inches. I'm leaning more towards like maybe four inches on the heels. Um, but they were pretty easy to walk in as far as four inch heels can go. Now, I will say you're not going to go as far when wearing four inch heels as you will go with wearing three inch heels but these are for sure on the more comfortable side but yeah if you are looking for a pair of black uh faux leather boots 
definitely recommend these right here y'all are gonna see me in these so so much i i love them they're very very cute and i think they were true to size i think i got oh no 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 i think i got a seven and a half in these i low-key i'm not gonna lie i should have got an eight um i typically wear both sizes so yeah just be aware of that they're not tight on me i just can't wear like super thick socks you know okay so let's go ahead and get into my new year shoe my new year shoe it's not like super extravagant honestly i went kind of more understated because the dress kind of has a lot going on with itself not too much going on but like it just i did not need a shoe that was going to fight with the dress so these were just a very affordable simple pair of heels but it's going to kind of give you the vibe of what the dress is going to be given. Y'all can probably guess because y'all know I have an issue with red now. And by issue, I mean obsession. And it's unhealthy borderline. Okay? Um, hold on. This is actually my first time seeing these shoes. Like These are very cute. Okay, so they are more red than I expected them to be. I expected them to be on the little, a little bit of the burgundy side. Because, like, if you look at my nails, my nails are, like, a red red. And so these aren't too far off. So I really just thought these were going to be like deeper red, which I'm not mad at these. I think these are still very, very cute. They've got a little bit of the flare heel on them, which if you don't know, a flare heel is really good for overall comfort. Like if you just get a straight skinny heel, that's that's where the pain really comes in. So this kind of just like helps you ease up off that toe area. But yeah, these are super cute. Just very simple with the let me see. With like the little wrap around the ankle strap and then the wrap around the like front of your foot strap we're probably going to be doing french toes um for new year's because i've kind of made that my signature at this point i just feel like french a french pedicure is just really flattering on my foot oh like these are gonna be cute i'm just i'm excited because i'm thinking about the dress that it's going with but my dress is pretty much the same color as these shoes so Oh, y'all, I can't wait to get pictures. Let me see what they look like on my feet. We're going to look pop one on real quick. Ow! I stabbed myself. That is sharp. Why is that so sharp? Goodness. Let's see. Make sure they fit. Am I wearing these right? I think so. Pre-warning, um, the ankle straps are quite tiny, which, I mean, it's fine for me, but honestly, I have kind of small ankles, so I'm sorry if I'm showing y'all all my business. I have kind of small ankles so if they're tiny on me i don't know who else ankle they supposed to fit because i'm wearing the last <laughs> i got mine on the last um the last link and i have small ankles so that's just a little heads up um but this is what they look like they're very cute on ah so so cute mind you my legs are not moisturized right now but it's okay oh these are cute perfect they're absolutely perfect they're not too high Oh yeah, they look real good with the French tip. This is exactly what I wanted. I love an open square toe heel. Yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Really bought these just to wear for a couple hours and then go home, because I know me. I will not be outside long. And I wouldn't even say what I'm doing for New Year's is considered outside. It's as outside as I'm gonna be. The last pair of shoes, these are a gifted pair of shoes. I'm so excited about these. So you guys know, um, I have been getting like some gifted from, not some gifted, I've been getting some gifted, gifting, god dang, I can't even get it out. Gifting from Cezanne, and so that is what's in this box. I picked out these gorgeous, gorgeous, hold on, let's unbox them. And Cezanne just has like the most beautiful wrapping. Oh, they come with a dust bag. I'm like, what is this for? It's a dust bag. So, they are the most gorgeous little navy blue and cream penny loafers. Ah, oh, they're so cute, you guys. Like, oh my gosh. I'm so excited about these. So, these actually are also a really good investment piece as well. Pretty much everything from Zazan is very investment piece type things. Um, if you don't know what Cezanne is, they are like a French based brand. Everything's really nice quality. Everything is designed after the French aesthetic, which you know is really timeless. But yeah, this is what the shoe looks like up really close. It's got the dark blue leather around here and then it's got the cream leather right here. You can put your little pennies right here if you wish. 
uh, and then it's got a black sole so this is a little bit of a lug sole on these they are a little bit chunky they're not the flattest loafers but yeah they are so so pretty hold on let me take out the little wrapping so you can see it better like are these not a gorgeous pair of loafers so you already know when i wear loafers i'm wearing the loafers with the white socks and that's exactly what i plan on doing with these shoes i can wear it with white socks and like a pair of like jeans get like it's giving michael jackson um or i can do like the mini skirt look i think that could be really cute too but i love these i feel like these are a pair of shoes that can just be in my closet like forever like can pass them down type shoes so yeah obsessed thank you so much design and speaking of them i'm gonna go ahead and open up this too now i already pulled out one piece out of this other Cezanne package because I wanted to wear it. It was that white bodysuit. Y'all remember that I couldn't clamp in the back? Um, yeah, that was the, the shirt. But there's another shirt that they put in here that I have not taken out of the wrapping yet. The most gorgeous wrapping, by the way. Oh, come on. Okay, so picked up this button down. She is quality, y'all. She is very nice quality, and I didn't even think about this, but this will look really good with the loafers. I'm honestly not sure if you can see it all the way really well because uh, it is a little bright right now on camera, but uh, if you were in real life, you'd be able to see, like, it's this really beautiful cream and navy blue pinstripe button down. Like, we love her. I love, like, a really kind of, like, masculine type button down to kind of like mix up with like a really girly skirt look and then do the loafers like very cute very prep style but this is what the pattern looks like really closely like how gorgeous the quality on this is absolutely everything oh my gosh now this is making me want to get the white button down that they have because y'all know i love me a good white button down she's really cute and i didn't want to get this one too big because y'all know i have a history of getting giant button downs and sometimes you want a button down that you can actually like halfway tuck into a pair of jeans without looking crazy. So that's why I kind of went on the smaller side with this one. Uh, this one's a size 38. I didn't go too small, but like I went small enough to have something a little, a little more fitting to have options as far as my button down sizes go. Okay, now for the clothes portion. Like I said, I have a few investment pieces, but I also have a few like <clears throat> just trying to be cute pieces. So we're going to go ahead and start with those actually. Um, you guys may know. I'm in my dress era like I've been loving a dress not sure why I wasn't loving dresses like before this year but yeah wasn't very big on dresses was always like if I'm gonna wear a dress it's gonna be like a two-piece set type of thing you know um but now I'm really into those so first off you guys know I was very obsessed with this uh one sweater dress that I got from I want to say I got it from H&M naturally I had to get another one and this one's a little bit different. The other one was more like sweater chunky like. Very like effortless, flowy, and elegant. And this one's more like a little bit on the body con, body hugging side. But still not too much. So it is again off the shoulder. I've just discovered that that is, <laughs> that's a silhouette I really like on myself. So I was like, yep, yeah, we need another one. But this one's like a charcoal gray turtleneck look. You can see like it is very fitting because of how slim like the material is. Um, but she's pretty. It's got a little bit of ribbing in it. But this is just a really comfortable way to like get dressed, look really cute. When I wore those black boots, I actually wore them with this dress. And it was so simple, yet so like, mwah, you know? Like, sometimes it just doesn't take that much. And I feel like that's the art of dresses that I was not appreciating before. It's like, yes, it's simple. But sometimes you want simple to give significant. Like, especially with my hair. Maybe not today because... This new hair routine I got is giving flat. But with my hair being like so big typically and just like, I don't always want to wear outfits where the outfit's also, you know? Sometimes I want my hair to be the main event and the outfit has to be a little more understated when I'm doing that. Like I need one or the other. If my outfit's gonna be banging, I need my hair to chill. And if my hair is gonna be banging, I need that outfit to chill a little bit. Like not chill too much. Like we're not trying to give like, the outfit not giving like i wanted to give but i needed to be more understated you know so i feel like i've just really been enjoying the art of understated things um this year maybe i should make a promise to y'all <laughs> the last red thing i will buy in my defense again i had this for weeks okay 
I feel like the red thing just seems to be stretching out because I just have something red in every video. But really, I kind of bought all the red stuff at the same time, okay? Like, in my defense. But I did go and buy a little red mini dress. I didn't have a little red dress. What in the world? Let me tell you. Ladies, if you do not have a little red dress, I found out that it's just as important as a little black dress. It's just a matter of getting the right one. And I feel like there's a lot of ugly little red dresses out here. Part of the effort is finding one that's actually like, ooh, okay. Um, but I managed to find one that I felt like was flattering for me. Uh, so it is kind of on the minier side. I feel like my legs are definitely like an accent that I like. I have long legs. I work them out a little bit. So they a little bit on the muscular side, you know. So when we when we give a leg, it's giving a leg, you know. Um, so I like that aspect about it. What I also really liked was a little sweetheart neckline. And I just felt like the chest part was just a lot more flattering for like the type of chest that I have. With the cute little bow right here. I really could have worn this for like holiday season christmas season but honestly like it's great for valentine's day uh it's great for just a regular day because we have claimed red for our whole entire lives so um yeah she's really really cute really really flattering on which you guys will see in the little video i'm sure okay on to investment pieces so i've been loving reformation for a while now but i'm not gonna lie like i couldn't get myself to like pay for the certain pieces that i wanted to because Reformation, if you don't know, it is like more investment pieces, which is their point. Like their point is to like put money into things that you're going to keep for a long time. So it's not like super cheap clothes, like at all, like by far. I will link all this stuff down below if you want to see it for yourself. Um, but I was just like, yeah, it's time to get those things that are a little bit more quality because when I get things that aren't, sometimes I don't keep them as long. So I feel like I'm at a stage right now, like 26, um... Oh, it's come to my attention that apparently 26 isn't considered your late 20s it's considered your mid 20s but i feel like i'm in the late 20s so i like to put a little more money into my pieces now so that way i don't like get rid of it next year because like i'm like oh, i want to grow over that now so now is the point where it's like just buy the better version so you don't have to get rid of it next year you know which i'm still doing mixing i have been eyeing this set for a while on reformation and when i saw that they were having a sale for black friday i mean it wasn't crazy y'all know all black friday sales they just they don't get on nothing anymore that's why don't nobody be in the stores because it's really the sale that people always have like people always have 20 percent off how's this black friday y'all had 20 percent off like 10 times this year you know like what's black friday about that but i was just like whatever like i've been wanting this set so i'm gonna go ahead and get it so it is pretty much it's not gonna give me holding one piece up at a time but it's like a two piece black and white crop set it's definitely like it's giving timeless it's giving money like she's cute i hate the term old money because of what it truly truly means um because you know i'm not gonna get into it this is not a monologue about old money but if you don't know what old money derives from i highly recommend you research that um because it's not cute like it's cute like the aesthetic not gonna lie it's really cute but if you know you know yeah um but anyways yeah it gives that um so we're gonna call it elevated styling timeless classic i feel like classic is another way to say like old money um but yeah black and white two-piece set so this is the skirt piece she's really really cute it's really simple it's just got like the white little tubing and then this is the crop top right here hold on i haven't worn it but i tried it on so now it's like a little twisted still got like tags and everything so this top right here it's like crop long sleeve and then also the back has a bit of a cutout as well which makes it really really interesting i feel like the weight of this is definitely giving like you can wear it like all year like i feel like right now you can wear it with tights because it is long sleeve but it's also light enough to wear like maybe not summer Maybe not summer because you're going to look a little crazy, but like spring, you could definitely like if you're going to patty or somewhere like, like that or you're just going down the street. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to wear it wherever. Um, you can still wear this, just, you know, lose the tights. You feel me? Um, but yeah, she's really, really cute. The skirt is a little bit big on me, which it is my size. It's a size two, but I honestly don't mind because um, I'm getting up there in age a little bit. And I'm assuming one of these days I'm going to put on a little bit of weight. Maybe not a lot, but at least a little bit. I'm not going to be this 
forever, you know? So it's okay that it has a little bit of room. Uh, it just makes it sit a little lower than where the skirt is supposed to sit. But y'all should have seen it on the model. I will say it looked better on her because she had more of this. So if you have more of this, this set is going to eat on you. For me, you know, I'll have to put on a push-up bra, but it's okay. Um, very, very cute. I love this set. I'm not mad that I got it. I will say that it is more lightweight than I expected it to be. But like I said before, I don't really mind it because that just allows me to wear it all year because... We like wearing things as much as we can. Okay, so after that, I've been wanting a pair of more, like, classic denim. Y'all know I got the light baggy denim on deck. Like, I feel like I have multiple pairs, but I really just wear one pair. But I was like, you know, I need more of, like, that classic jean. Like, that I can wear with those, like, loafers. I mean, I can wear it with my baggy denim, too. But if I want you to see the loafer, you're not going to be able to see the loafer in my classic baggy jeans that I love to pull out. So, I was like, yeah, we need something for that. I need some jeans that I can throw on with my cardigan and my blazer, you know? And so I picked up these from Reformation. I've been eyeing these jeans for a while. I just thought they were so cute and they were sold out for a minute. But when I was finally ready to order, they had them available. So I went ahead and got them. They are um, my size. I got a 25 and I would say they fit good. They're not too tight, which I don't want them to be too tight. And they're not too baggy. I really just hate like when jeans show up and they are super tight because for me personally i feel like when your jeans are really tight it kind of makes it like cheapens them a little bit so i do like that it has kind of more of a, of a relaxed fit because i feel like it makes it look like more you know mm. and i didn't have like a medium classic uh wash denim jean why did i say denim jean that's like saying denim denim whatever whatever it, i said it now um but yeah very very cute i love the straight leg on them like I said, will look really good with loafers or even if I want to do like some New Balance sneakers or my Sambas. Super cute. Love these jeans. Just really good basic go-tos and they're comfy. They're really, really comfy. And then the last thing I got from Reformation, I was in need of a black mini skirt. When it first got here, I wasn't too sure about it because I was like, this is more flared than I expected it to be. But it's actually perfect. Like, I love it. Because when you think about it, you're not going to want to always wear, especially during the day, you're not going to always want to wear like a black, like skin tight little skirt. Like, that's just not, that's not really the message that I try to give anymore. Um, during the daytime, at least. At night, I don't care. But during the day, we need a little more material. Um, so I really like that this gives like it's very 90s like I feel like it's a very like Ashley Banks skirt like I feel like she always had these on in fresh prints um, but what is really major about this skirt besides the quality the quality is amazing um, but it's got attached shorts inside so it's got like a little squirt vibe but it's a skirt in the back too which I also like but yeah she's flattering really cute really comfy just quality i feel like i had so many black skirts in the past but this is definitely like the most quality black skirt that i've had that is the haul i have as you can see i've been i've been spending some money but let me know what y'all's favorite thing is okay for sure and i hope you guys do enjoy these little hauls i know like i have low-key been buying a lot i'm in a transitional era right now when it comes to my looks i feel like i'm always in a transitional era but i really am in one now now that i'm trying to elevate my closet so Hopefully y'all are enjoying like this little series of me showing things in the vlogs like this. actually embarrassing earlier when i was like trying on clothes what's that one beyonce song who is this it? from the boondocks one of them riley or somebody no it's definitely not riley saying that what's the other one's name yeah huey america 
America has a problem. Hold on, this is the song. Y'all, I was going off. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, this is no shade. No shade. I'm low key scared to say this, okay? Because I know the beehive exists. And I'm scared. I'm not a big Beyonce fan. Like, I think she's talented. I think she's very talented. Don't get me wrong. Don't, don't get me wrong. But, like, my friend asked me if I wanted to go to the Renaissance tour, her, and I was like, I don't want to see Beyonce that bad. Like, I would have went if somebody would have, like, paid for me to go, but I wasn't going to pay to go see Beyonce. <laughs> um, which I get it. Like, it, I'm just not a huge Beyonce fan. And I say that because, like, I literally, the only Renaissance songs I knew was whatever came on TikTok. And I know this song because they're always playing it on, like, my little workout playlist on Spotify. Like, they just have a curation of songs. And I, I fool with this song, honestly. Um, what is this one? America, America has a problem, y'all. This song is too... It's kind of unhinged the way you should dance to the song. But yeah, to be honest, like, I've always been more of a Rihanna girl. Like, so as you can imagine, I'm very disappointed in the fact that I haven't gotten an album in years. Um, just getting babies. No albums. But I get it though. Like, when I tell you I love, I love that Riri and Rocky are together. But, um, I do want an album. I, I do, I would like an album. And I'm not even saying that that Rihanna's more talented than Beyonce. Definitely not saying that. I'm just more of a Rihanna girl. Like, I tend to enjoy more of Rihanna's, like, music and her aesthetic. Like, I vibe with it, you know? This is the song. America, America has a problem. <laughs> Y'all see why this song is so good? Like, you cannot not dance. this noise going on in the background somebody i think is like getting their car towed or something like that i don't know all i know is i just keep hearing a cranking noise but anyways just got out the shower getting ready to wind down for the night um getting ready to read my book <laughs> let me say i'm only one night into or one day into my little wake up early routine but it feels good i feel like i'm able to finish everything much sooner normally I don't finish everything this soon. Like I feel like I've been able to really dilly dally because I woke up early this morning. And I also feel like the sleep is gonna get hit harder because <laughs> I woke up early this morning. Um, but yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and close the vlog out now because tomorrow's Thursday and I'm actually supposed to be uploading this tomorrow. So I can't, because I took that little break, I have to speed this along. <laughs> So yeah, sorry that the vlog uh, could possibly be a little
There's that noise. Okay. Um, yeah. Sorry that the vlog could possibly be a little on the short end or like feel shorter as far as the week goes. But yeah, I'm just trying to make it to the holidays to be for real, y'all. I'm trying to get me along and y'all along to January and February. It should just be a lot more calm, man. Like just easy going. It typically is. Um, you know, we're, we're just on that last stretch. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the vlog, you know what to do. But anyways, I will see you guys next week. I love you so, so Really? The sound is killing me. Anyways, I will see y'all next week. Love you so, so much. Mwah.